time of year when we wear a red poppy in memory of those who sacrificed their lives for us during the wars. Of the 11th hour, of the 11th day, of the 11th month marks the signing of the armistice on the 11th of November 1918 to signal the end of World War One. At 11am on the 11th of November 1918, the guns of the Western Front fell silent after more than four years of continuous warfare. Remembrance Day is on the 11th of November. It is a special day set aside to remember all those men and women who were killed during the two world wars and other conflicts. Two minutes of silence takes place across the country as respect for all those who have lost their lives. The first two minutes silence in London on the 11th of November 1919 was reported in the Manchester Guardian on the 12th of November that year. The first stroke of 11 produced a magical effect. The tram cars glided into stillness. Motors ceased to cough and fume and stopped dead. And the mighty limbed horses hunched back upon their loads and stopped also, seeming to do it of their own choosing. Someone took off his hat, and with a nervous hesitancy, the rest of the men bowed their heads also. Here and there, an old soldier could be detected slipping unconsciously into the posture of attention. An elderly woman, not far away, wiped her eyes, and the man beside her looked white and stern. Everyone stood very still. The hush deepened. It had spread over the whole city. It was a silence which was almost pain, and the spirit was experienced by all. In Remembrance Day ceremonies, the flags are first lowered and then the last post is played, which will be followed by a two minute silence. It is usually played on a bugle, but today it will be played on a trumpet by Francesca, head girl. The Ravalli will be played and the flags will be raised. After the choir have sung the lay have sung and the laying of the wreath, the recitation of Ode of Remembrance will be read by Oscar, head boy, and Jemima, deputy head girl. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. <laughs>
They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. The Doomed Youth by Wilfred Owen. What passing bells for these who die as cattle? Only the monstrous anger of the guns. Only the stuttering rifles' rapid rattle can patter out their hasty arisings. No mockeries now for them, no prayers nor bells, nor any voice of mourning save the choirs, the shrill, demented choirs of wailing shells and bugles, calling for them from sad shires. What candle may be held to speed them all? Not in the hands of boys, but in their eyes, shall shine the holy glimmers of their eyes. The pallor of girls' brows shall be their pallor, their flowers, the tenderness of ancient minds. And each slow dusk, a drawing down of mine. Please bow your heads. A prayer for Remembrance Day. For those who were killed in battle, for those who gave up their lives to save others, for those who fought because they were forced to, for those who died standing up for a just cause, for those who said war was wrong, for those who tried to make the peace, for those who prayed when others had no time to pray, for those creatures who needlessly die, for those trees that needlessly are slaughtered, for all mankind, let us quietly pray. May your God hold them in peace. May love flow over the earth and cleanse us all, this day and for always. Amen. We will now have the national anthem. Just stand quietly, please. <laughs> 